for the Pac-10. Arizona trying to reverse the trend, but they're down six to John Brady in the tie. Look at the sweat pouring off of John Brady here as LSU tries to beat a number one team for the first time in 24 years. 1978, beat Kentucky, and that was the year they won the national championship with Joe Hall. LSU beat Arizona here three years ago. Arizona was a top five team then. Gardner the miss, offensive rebound, Fox. Stoudemire, short on the jumper. His ankle must be bothering him. He hasn't played a lot of minutes here. Right blows past Stoudemire and a foul. And Stoudemire in the face of the official, and Kerry Sitton is saying, don't make it worse, and it already is. You want to be cautious. You don't want a technical now. A technical will be disaster. There it is now. There he's reaching in. Once you reach in, that whistle is going to blow. You ride and ride a guy from the side, a little side saddle, you're going to get blown, no doubt about it, especially away from home. Harris Bright stepping up, trying to make free throws. Mr. Brady, perspiration city, look at him. It's sweating and sweating, baby. John Brady, he wants tonight to be that special night, beating Uno number one. Will it happen? We will know. Three minutes, baby. We're at winning time. Lead back up to eight. He athletic. He is so big time, so explosive on that wing. He's an outstanding wing player. He is going to be a special player in an Arizona uniform. Maybe he's working us on it. Look at that, as you said, athletic ability. The ability to hang in the air, convert. And now if he converts a free throw, they'll go right into their full court pressure. He does, and they will. Gardner on the ball. Mitchell back into the game now for LSU. Remember, he went out with a leg injury earlier. Did a good job spacing. Spread the court against the pressure. Try to eliminate the double team. Nice back door. Hudson, soft touch. Rebound, Fox. Any of time. Nobody back. Gardner to fly. Oh. Oh, did he go down hard? The foul was early. And Fry is okay as he and Ureta crashed into one another under the basket. And now Ureta over to say to Fry, hey, no harm intended. Jason Gardner comes from oh. behind. There's the contact. Certainly not intentional. Channing, it's good to see that he's okay. Didn't get injured on that play. I think the crowd wanted to travel before the foul on Fry. Nice touch by Fry. Remember, Rick Anderson has fouled out of this game. Fry is a pivotal player. I'll tell you this, a lot of teams would have folded. The way they were being beaten, the way they were shooting the basketball, the way they were beaten out of glass, a lot of teams would have folded. But that's why they're number one, man. They are going to come after you, and they are going to play right to the wire. You're going to have to beat them and earn it. They fought off Texas to win on Sunday. Purdue and Arizona State coming up after this game here on ESPN2. Yeah! Got the Hail Marys on the rosary beads, baby, man. That's a little Hail Mary touch. She likes it. Take a look at this one right here. I mean, he just throws this up off the glass. And the bank is open. Mr. Dupree. I mean, there's a rainbow went off the glass. <laughs> rainbow City. Fourth foul on Fox. So Anderson out, Fox and Fry each with four, and Dupree at the line. They're starting to knock up down those free throws. Now they need a couple of stops to try to stifle this Arizona comeback. Fry's been such a factor lately. Going inside, Adams on the wing's been tough. Stoudemire with a rare drive, and the lefty lays it in to knock the lead down to four. Excellent drive by Salim Stoudemire. Under two minutes to play, patience for LSU, experience on the floor, seniors, four-year players, no timeouts. It's been that way since about the 10-minute mark. Managing that clock so important late in the game, Dan. We talk about it often, understanding good shots. Shot selection's the key to getting to the winner's locker room. So far, so good in this possession. Shot clock down to six. Hudson, baseline, laying is good. It's as perfect as can be. If you can take the clock down as far as they did, that's how upsets happen. Oh, that's how they happen. 
will number one go down tonight? Will number one taste the feet? Weak side rebound. It's out of bounds to Arizona. Barely a minute to play. Can John Brady stand it much longer? The Tigers with their first game against a number one team under John Brady haven't even played a number one team in eight years. They played so many cupcakes early. It feels good to play a surf and turfer, man, and the chance to be the surf and turf. This is as good as it gets, Arizona. Stoudemire for three. Going against Dupree of LSU. Don't want to stop the clock on that situation. The clock is your friend right now if you're John Brady. Look at him. He can't look. He can't look. He says, I'm going to be all over the highlights on Sports Center. Ludos is as calm as can be. On the outside. One of the great coaches in the history of college basketball. Inducted into the Hall of Fame in September. And deservedly so. Should have been out for it even earlier. Timeout situation. Look at this LSU without a timeout. Bush. It's quite a while without one. Dick, how important is Channing Fry becoming the last few minutes? He's been really tough on yeah. the inside. But where were they earlier in the game? Big miss. And it's LSU ball. He called a timeout, and they don't have any. They don't have any timeouts. That's a technical. That's a technical. Oh, Chris Webber style. Chris and, Webber. And you know John Brady said to his kids in every timeout, in every TV timeout, don't call a timeout, but your instincts just kind of kick in. You're up in the air, you're drifting out of bounds, you call a timeout. You gotta understand, so many times I talk about it, you gotta understand time, situation, strategy. You as a player, that's an obligation to understand it, understand all the situations that are in a game. You gotta be focused. You work so hard. A situation like that could turn a game completely around. A couple of freebies now for Arizona. And Stoudemire, who shot 90% from the line last season, will take it. Coaching staff, I know, is going to be upset with you, Bizarre, and all the Girolando, the assistant. Which Pierre responsibilities. They gotta let people know all the time. They're gonna let all the kids know, the coaches know, but I'm sure, like you said, they remind them and the kids have a tendency to forget. And Dupree oh. has a look again. Yeah, has Zero as timeouts. Anybody. He's automatic yeah. on the line. Yeah. Automatic. Now LSU gets the ball back. It's at the it's point of interruption. Point of interruption. Yeah. They're lucky that that rule didn't exist a right. few years ago. That's right. And they would lose the ball as well. Don't forget Purdue and Arizona State coming up next year on that was big too. That was big. You made that now a one possession game, Dan. It's become a one possession game. Oh, Look out now. Uh -oh. Turnover. Put it in Gardner's hands. I want to bring it to Gardner. Iguodala. Gets it back from Fry. Arizona gets it back. I want Jason Gardner, man. I'd set a screen for Gardner or Stoudemire. Iguodala, the freshman, floats in, and it's a one-point game. And a timeout called by Arizona. I mean, I can't knock. I cannot sing the praises enough of Ludos in getting that club to respond because they were dead, man. They were absolutely out of it. They were passive. They were down 14. It looked like it was over, and they just keep battling and battling. Now watch Iguodala. There it is. Taking the ball up strong to the basket. Nobody rotated over. The last Arizona lead was 9. 17. The last time, as we mentioned, LSU played a number one was eight years ago here against Arkansas. They got beaten overtime, overtime. 108 to 105, and they haven't beaten a number one just to drive the point home again since they beat Kentucky 24 years ago. Normally, the home team is the favorite team, usually, in an overtime situation. I say if this goes overtime, end the big time Arizona. Agree. Rick Anderson, Psych Arizona, the only player who has fouled out. Got to get it in. Got to spread the court. The patience and poise of Arizona down as big as they were. Shot clock, game clock, bang on, Dick. So Arizona can't let this possession go the distance. Oh, they got it. 
poor job by LSU at the end of this game. That technical foul, that timeout was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. Do you believe the last minute of play, everything has gone wrong for LSU? A turnover, and before that, the timeout. The timeout that led to two easy points. Otherwise, this is a completely different game. Oh, those two free throws were really so major, so important. Now, if you're Lou Olson, what do you set up? What's your play here? Well, you basically are looking to attack the basket. Fry, you're going to take it right down. Basically, you want to shoot the ball, I really believe, with like about five seconds on the clock, so you got a chance for an offensive rebound and a tick as well. They're That's subbing in Isaiah Fox. Now, Gardner is, Gardner's your senior. Gardner's your All-American. Do you go with him or do you go inside? Well, you know, Gardner's going to have the ball in his hands, and if he's going to make the big play, whether he creates an opportunity or he gets it to someone, for a shot or he'll take a shot as well but right now i can't emphasize enough how both teams have to talk about strategy score situation matchups and so many times kids think that's a lot of nonsense and their minds are wandering yep. today it has haunted absolutely haunted lsu by getting that timeout when they didn't have timeouts has changed this whole complexion in the last minute of the game and of all people it's a senior on the lsu side ronald dupree and then he made a turnover that's right and his heart has to be the head right now should LSU go on to lose this game Arizona has not led in the second half watch out for the missed shot outstanding offensive rebound is Adams Gardner a long way away from the basket right now tough D by Bright now a switch trying to get a high screen for him They're trying to get a high screen ball on the floor and it's Arizona ball with half a second to play remember if that clock Upset, upset, John Bryan! Upset, LSU beats number 